everybody. This is Agent Jess Master, and today we're going to be uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do solar pyrography. So uh, you might have heard of pyrography before, which is uh, wood burning, where you have a tool and you know a tool like it's real hot and has different heads on it. You can change a lot of times and you know burn patterns into wood. Well, this is solar pyrography, and we're actually going to be using the sun to make art. So what you need is a piece of wood, pencil magnifying glass and eye protection because this gets very very bright this is actually um, a lens out of a welder's mask and this is meant for like arc welding They're the super bright stuff because I tried uh, lenses for gas welding and they still weren't dark enough because this gets so bright so uh, let's go ahead and get started so what you want to do is just kind of, and with solar pyrography, it's not super accurate like you, um, uh, like you can, <laughs> how can I say it? Uh, it's hard to be super accurate compared to using the, like a real small little uh, nib on a, a wood burning kit. So it's good to make your designs big because, yeah, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so let's go and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and draw an airship. Nice big airship. And like so. And I kind of messed up that. That's okay. Let's erase a little bit. Get the lines right. Alright. Let's see here. Just kind of. There we go. And one reason you want to draw, it makes it kind of easier to do art in a way, even when you're doing the pyrography with a, 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 a tool that gets hot. And there's just something about freehanding. It can be cool, but if you want something specific, it's a lot easier to do it in pencil first. And another reason with uh, solar pyrography, uh, oh, I'm sorry, another reason you want to use pencil on solar pyrography is that it actually... Uh, sometimes can help the wood burn better and it actually can make it a little easier to get the design you want because I think what it is um, since uh, the graphite's black for one thing it'll actually absorb the heat uh, I do believe faster than the wood so that way um, it can kind of help uh, just burn where you want it to instead of burn as big blobs so <laughs> anyways all right, like that, and like this. I kind of hold back on the pencil so you can see what I'm drawing a little easier. Like that, make a nice little bottom fin, like that. And we'll put <coughs> some windows. that and a nice big round one a couple cross things like this and we'll go down like that and across that looks good I'll add some lines here to kind of help show the roundness of the balloon And if you find using a, a mechanical pencil like I'm using works, but you might find it a little easier to use a, a regular like, you know, number two pencil and make it dull it down a little bit because since this is kind of sharp, it's going to grab on the wood a little bit. It does make smaller lines, so, you know, it's, it's kind of whatever works for you. I'd say there's not really a right or wrong. All right. And then add some things to the wings. Add some nice detail. Like so. There we go. Cool. And then add a nose. On my airships, I usually like, sometimes I like to add more than one little nose thing. I think it adds kind of extra interest. Add one here. Go. Something kind of like that. I don't think it's going to look this 
quite, I, I highly doubt it's going to look quite this accurate when we start burning it, so. All right. I think that's good enough for now. I don't know if you can see it very well. I hope that comes in good. I'll go ahead and sign it too. I'm going to do my signature big. Same reason. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So hopefully that's showing up okay. All right. Now what you want to do, it's in the evening time, about 5 o'clock right now. So the sun's kind of at an angle. So what we want to do is uh, use some kind of stand. I'm just going to use this um, rock here and to hold up my work like that. There we go. And uh, I, there are some clouds, so we'll just have to see if this will burn okay or not. I'll go ahead and take my. Sometimes I want to make these into like go, uh, goggles because this actually came out of a, a face mask you actually hold up. So that's, so I like to actually make some steampunk goggle kind of a holder for this. So yeah. And here's my magnifying glass, and the sun just went behind a cloud, I think. So. Um, I'll be right back and when the sun comes back out. <laughs> okay, sun still isn't out, but I just, while I was waiting for the sun to come out, I watched the video I just did, and I noticed that I wasn't quite holding up the uh, picture there where you could see it super well. <laughs> so I want to go ahead and zoom in like that so you can see it a little better. So that's what it looks like. Okay, I'll be back again when the sun's back out, hopefully soon. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, but the sun still isn't out yet, so uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, uh, give you a helpful hint on this. Because um, when you're when you're burning, and you want to like stop and take a look at it, or, or just stop for any reason, you actually don't want to move it around very much, just, and you don't definitely don't want to uh, move it off your piece or even around on your piece because uh, you can either you can start burning on your work where you don't want to burn and you can start if you go off the edge you can start burning your table or something <laughs> that you don't want to burn so uh, what I found out is, uh, one of the best ways to do this which might sound actually kind of surprising to you is you actually want to take your magnifying glass and actually put your hand and kind of go like that with your hand like that real quick and then hold it in your hand until you're ready to burn again the reason is you might think this would actually burn your hand but the lens is so close to your hand the sun can't, uh, the sunlight can't focus on your hand and burn it. So, it actually, in order for the sun to uh, focus enough to burn, um, the distance the magnifying glass would have to be away from your hand would probably be about, mm, something like that. So with it this close, uh, it can't focus like it needs to, and so the sun can't burn your hand like that. So, yeah, it's actually kind of a interesting kind of thing that's one of the best ways I found out at least using you know like this magnifying glass sometime I might make one where it actually has like a, a handheld thing and it has like a cover like you can hit a little switch and it'll put a cover over it or something keep it from burning but for now if you're using something like this just go like that with your hand it's one of the best ways I know of so far because you could slip something over it but by the time you do that, you might be already burning more than you want to on your piece. So, <laughs> so like that. Alrighty. So the sun still isn't out yet. So uh, I guess I'll be back again. <laughs> okay, and we're back. And actually, this is the next day. <laughs> yeah, the sun didn't never didn't really seem to come out uh, like I needed to yesterday from behind a cloud. So that's okay. There's still a few clouds a day, but not as many. So let's get to it. So I'll go ahead and grab my um, eye protection and magnifying glass and let's get to it. See, I'm holding this up to my, right over my eyes. And I can st still see through it a little bit. It helps if there's no glare from behind you. So sometimes you have to kind of shift it kind of left and right a little bit to kind of, it, it, it can kind of help get the glare off. Well, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get going on it. Okay, so I'll go and start. Let's see. Let's 
start right there. Like I said, this is not precise. At least not as precise as doing wood burning with a, to a actual electric tool. But this has a really cool effect. I'll show you when we get some done here. Alright, and it, sometimes I do push the magnifying glass forward some like this because it helps kind of light everything up so I can see where the um, uh, uh, pencil marks are. So, you know, it's, it does help see, help see a little more because this thing is pretty dark. So, and so just remember to be careful though. Uh, to, you need to push it forward enough so it doesn't keep burning the thing. So, but you don't have to push forward too much. So, it's just kind of a little bit might be a little trial and error, but it's it's pretty simple. So let's do, go ahead and do a little more. Okay, still want to be careful moving your thing around like I talked about before because if you're not careful you can keep burning on places you don't want to but I did forget to mention yesterday about instead of always just putting it in your hand like that sometimes I do like I said push it forward some so it helps light up the pencil line a bit a little better when I have this in front of my face so just kind of a uh, another thing to <laughs> another thing to keep in mind so you know sometimes when you're doing the videos it can it'd be kind of easy to forget some things that you want to mention until you start doing it so <laughs> all right that looks pretty cool see it it has a really cool kind of look to it and I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well but it actually if you can I don't know if this will show it very well or not but it actually kind of has a uh, Oh, let me get in the screen better. There we go. It'll focus in. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera anyways, but it, when you look close up to it, it almost has like a... Um, it almost looks like it's been welded. You know how weld has kind of that, like it's like metal kind of flowing in where it's welded at? This kind of has that look a little bit, but it, it might be kind of hard to show on the camera, so... <laughs> But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, do some more here. So yeah, some a lot of times, like I said sometimes you know when you do videos you forget things until you start doing it. So so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll actually the way I'll start I'll have this magnifying glass close enough to where it's not burning the wood yet, but it's a little extra bright. So I, I like, you know, kind of the same thing about showing the pencil lines. So that's kind of how I start. Something kind of like that. Put the mask up. And uh, sometimes I let my eyes, I close my eyes and let them adjust a little bit. And then open them back up. And let's see where we're at here. Sometimes you have to pull the magnifying glass a little further away. Just keep, just keep being careful. It won't really burn until you get it to the to the sun's like a real tiny point but it's still good to be careful so sometimes I will pull it up a little more until I can see the fence lines pretty well so right about there there we go some more here Sometimes it can be a little bit stubborn, and I think a cloud's coming over the sun a little bit. But anyways, that's kind of the basic idea. So I'll go ahead and uh, do some more on it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got a little bit more done on it. I got to try to do this fairly quickly because the camera battery's dying. So, <laughs> but. I don't want to hurry too fast and make a mess of things, so I'm going to do some more here. Alright. 
Yeah, every once in a while, like I said, well, every once in a while I'll push the magnifying glass forward just to make sure I'm still going the right direction. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to see where the pencil lines are. Okay, we almost got the whole airship balloon done. Another thing you want to do too is try to keep, it might be kind of hard to see it on the camera, but when you actually do this, you want that magnifying glass to be like directly facing the sun. The way you can tell that is when you move it left to right, the, the spot on the um, wood will uh, will become like an oval so you want a, a complete circle not an oval so yep so a lot of this is just kind of you know practicing and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and go back to it sweet all right put in my hand but I forgot. <laughs> it, I I thought I thought that is actually the best way to cover it up, which it still is in a way. But when you're holding this in one hand, and you gotta set it down to grab this, sometimes it's kind of tricky. So I this it's been a while since I did this, so I guess I forgot about that. So so this still this still is a good way to do it. At least like if you're gonna be sitting here kind of looking at it. Instead of having it, you know, off somewhere, you know, burning something. <laughs> so if you're just going to sit here looking at it, and uh, you know, not, well, you, you know, th this is still a good idea like this. But when you first, um, when you're, right when you're done burning, it's probably easier to go ahead and just go like this on your work. And then uh, take off your goggles or lay this down, whatever you're doing, and then grab it like that. So, sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, I haven't done this for a little bit. So, some things, you know, you kind of forget till you do it again. So, okay, now that we've got that clarified, let's go ahead and do some more. One of the trickiest things on this airship is the little nose things. Because you don't want to make them too, kind of like a blob, you know. You want it to be kind of pointed. Which can be a little tricky, but I'm just going to do it nice and easy. I guess you can too if you're doing it at a table. You can take your magnifying glass and just set it down like that. You might, you probably want to set on some kind of cloth like this. That way it doesn't get scratched. But that's another way you can do it. So, so I guess that's that's also probably just as good a way, if not better, as doing this. So, <laughs> but if you're if you don't really have a table, you're kind of doing this in your lap. Then you probably want to do this so you don't start burning something. Well, it's just kind of. What works for you, I guess, in the situation. Sometimes this will work better, perhaps. Sometimes sending it down like this might work better. So just kind of, you know, trial, you know, checking it out for yourself, see what works best, and all that good stuff. So, all right. Let's keep going. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start on the fin, or the wing, I guess you'd call it. that way come on there we go sometimes for some reason it can seem like it doesn't really want to burn <laughs> maybe sometimes a little bit of a cloud gets in front of the sun or okay there we go So yeah, for whatever reason, sometimes it burns. The wood burns fairly easy. Sometimes it doesn't. It also could be have, may have to do with the uh, hardness of the wood. If there's harder parts, maybe those are a little harder to burn. So 
but that can just kind of add to the effect. So grab some water here, excuse me. Okay. I'll go ahead and finish this wing up. Actually, I might go ahead and finish both wings up and then we can get started on the gondola and the stripes on the balloon. So I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Got the fins done. So now it's time to do the gondola and the stripes on the gas bag. I do believe it's called, or one word for it at least. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's start on the gondola first, I do believe. One thing which does make it easier is to have something for your arm to rest on that ha that's holding the magnifying glass. That way you don't have to hold the, your arm and the magnifying glass in the air. So <laughs> makes it easier that way to have something to rest on. And sometimes uh, am I going the right way? Oh, good thing I checked. I need to go downwards now. Okay. But sometimes, for some reason, the wood seems to burn easier from where you've already burned at. So like on the, when I started doing the fins on the back here, it actually started burning a little extra easy where I already burned on the edge of the gas bag on the airship. So. Don't know for certain why, maybe it's because the wood's already burned and somehow it makes it easier for it to keep burning, but just something to keep in mind because uh, if you're not careful you can get a big blob of burnt wood in one spot, so <laughs> just something to keep in mind. Okay, I'm going to start the other side of the gas bag now and end at the little thin on the bottom of the gondola, that way it'll be... Hopefully I can make it kind of a sharp-ish point at the bottom. Yeah, having a pencil drawing really, really does help. It definitely since you're, you need to wear eye protection that's dark. If you're trying to freehand this, it could look cool, but it very possibly is just going to be kind of modern art looking so which is fine you know if you want to try that that's cool <clears throat> if you're looking for a little more precision pencil drawing really does help so now we're doing the windows I want to be careful on these lines not to get them too thick it's a little thick but that's okay you know, it does not have to be perfect. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> One more and then the middle bar across the windows. There's one thing it takes a, I think I'll probably get better at too as I practice more. I think all, all of you will too. Well, I should say, I think all of us will. <laughs> but is, uh, sometimes you have to be a little careful. Otherwise, you'll start making real big, blobby lines, which is fine. But like right where I'm doing it at, I don't want real big lines. So, you have to be kind of careful not stay in one place too long but sometimes you have to let it set long enough for it to burn so oh i went a little long that's okay <laughs> well that looks interesting okay i'll go ahead and finish up the other windows and i'll be right back okay got the windows finished up now we're gonna start on the lines on the gas bag here 
I'll probably just do one for now and then uh, come back to you because the camera battery is getting kind of low. We'll do one here. There we go. Alright. Well, I'll go ahead and get the others done and I'll be right back. And there we go. And I actually had to switch cameras because the other camera died on me. So, But now the last thing that's left is to just sign it. So I'll go ahead and sign it here. And yeah, I did do that. In pen I did my signature in pencil too first. Because that would probably be really interesting trying to do it without pencil. <laughs> Yep, sometimes, like I said, it, sometimes it burns fairly easy, sometimes it acts a little stubborn. <laughs> but it's all good. Well, I'll go ahead and finish my signature and I'll be right back well I'm back uh, but I, <laughs> I couldn't quite finish my signature because the sun went behind a cloud and it came up for like a couple of seconds and it went behind a cloud again so and there's more clouds coming so I might just have to finish this later on today but anyways at least you get the main idea of what solar pyrography is and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and um Hope you uh, find it interesting and maybe want to try it out for yourself. So uh, if you have any questions or anything, please uh, post them in the comments. If you'd like to, please uh, uh, su um, subscribe to my channel. And um, also, if you want, click on the notification button so you know when I upload new videos. So that'd be great. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, may the creator be with you.